This is a very quick and dirty attempt to, to shortly document my re-grinding or re-sharpening of the Pacific Salt H1, which I got recently. This is near, near, near new knife. I am trying to, to, to bring down the angle of the serrations, which right now is at around 20, 21 degrees, if I get a focus on it. And I tried different ways to remove the metal. I don't want to get a super flat grind all the way to the edge. I am shooting for a more of a convex grind. Let's see how that works out. I'm not done yet. But when I, I started with the sharp maker and with these with these diamond rods, uh, sorry, CBN rods, of course using just the edge and uh, knowing very well that I have to be very, very gentle with it because one can tear out the CBN crystals, which of course that means it won't cut anymore. So I'm so far, I think it's still alive, although it definitely lost some of its bite. And of course, depending on the angle one goes underneath, these, these guys can start to catch on the rod, which of course is just going to introduce additional damage. So this, guy, this material can remove metal, even though it's slow. I'm, I must say that because you can't use force and because you would just damage it. So I was looking for a different different ways to go. Um, first of all, I made a very simple angle adjustment for the sharp maker. I think it's very simple and, and yeah, not very elegant. But each of these spacers gives me approximately one degree change in angle. So I can apply them to either side, meaning I can go to different angles right now. This would mean I have a, this is a 15 degree slot and with those three spacers, I get approximately 12 degrees, so I can do some, some thinning of the edge um, without, and approximately knowing the angle. So since I was not really getting anywhere, or not, not, not far enough with the CBN rod, because after, I would say, well more than one hour spent on the side, I didn't get all that much metal removed, I decided that I want to give it a try. The autofocus is really, making it hard, that I'm going to try a different approach. I, real, I, I remember that I some time ago I bought a, this small Winif stone, which is approximately 150 grit. This special shape was made for, I think it's for Edge Pro or something. Um, it's fairly hard, this thing doesn't really want to wear, which brings of course disadvantages with it as well. But here it was an advantage because I could use the edge of the stone to, to do some work and to do that I'm not sure I will be able to show it to you guys I see as accidentally the stone has the same length I mean like exactly the same length as the rod uh, as a spider core rod when it's plugged in so I just hold it like that there with my hands it's not that hard actually because the bottom the aluminum part digs into the plastic base so it's not slipping around and then holding it there I can then have the same angle as the sharp maker and get the abrasive power of 150 grit diamond stone. Again, this is not necessarily the highest quality stone on the market. There are better stones in diamond stones, but the slow wear of this eye means I can really apply force on it. And if you look at it, I've spent maybe 20 minutes on it. The corners are not really all that worn. Obviously, at some point, I one would wear off the corners and we have to kind of slim the stone in some fashion. But the autofocus is just crazy. Um, but this works. I did most of the work you can see here, most of the results you can see here. Let's see whether it is going to work. I did it with, with the Vinyl Stone. I have just applied a tape to the tip because as it glides over the last serration, I was at some point was going to get to the cutting edge before I was actually done here apparently so to, to have a stop some sort of also for my as an eye guide I decided I need to I would put a piece of, of a gaffer tape there so I'm getting much closer as you can see this is the original grind is still there on the serrations which is now black with the just with the, with the marker and you can see these guys are getting much much higher 
So what I plan to do is to keep working at these 12 degrees for a little longer, but not all the way to the cutting edge and then I will just retune the angle to maybe 14 degrees or, or 15 degrees, do a little more and then go all the way to the cutting edge at maybe around 16, 17 or something like that. So this means in the future I would like just to use the 20 degree slot just to touch up the micro bevel, which should then be very quick to sharpen the knife, but also to have reasonably reasonable angle at the cutting edge because I don't think that this steel is going to do all the great at 15 angles, 15 degrees per uh, on the on the single side. I think at some point one will just push it too far and it will bend over or or roll too quickly. That doesn't make sense. So I plan to keep the very cutting edge with a with a tiny micro bevel of. Uh, of a steeper angle. I also plan to remove a little bit of those tips so they catch a little bit less. They are pretty pretty tall but that would come more towards the end. I don't want to do that too quickly. So yeah that's that's my approach trying to, to get this guy a thinner edge. I'm just doing it out of curiosity to get it maybe cut even better on the cardboard. It already did pretty well just using the out of the box edge on the cardboard I got not, not that much uh, catching on the teeth as I expected, a little bit but not much, so I'm just now curious what I can get out of it. If you can notice the handle is, is simply dirty, this is just steel and stone dust from my hands because this all happens dry, so I will clean it afterwards with some cleaning sponges, so don't don't get too worried about that, this is still, this is still a brand new knife and I think that should be able to clean, I will probably also round over this shoulder because it just from my hand kind of wants to end under my middle, middle finger. I'm not too crazy about that, although the, the grip as such is actually very very good, especially like this hammer grip. This knife was not made for hammer grip, it's way too thin. But for uh, whatever saber grip or how these people call it, this looks great. So yeah, I'm just doing this to, to see how the steel behaves, how it will cut once thinned. Um, for now I don't plan to do any Regrind work higher up the bevel because this is a concave grind. I don't even have a concave. I don't even have properly sized wheels for my belt grinder, so I wouldn't be able to, to you know, to, to to make the hollow maybe a little bit taller or deeper. And so for now that stays. I may later on kick just off the the edge of it here, but that would come at the later stage. I first only want to see how the blade will perform once these serrations have been thinned down. I'm curious about that. So there will be a later a follow-up on, on this.